Yes people, how's it going? Welcome back to Lily White Lane, hope you're doing good, hope you're keeping safe and well and hope you're having a smashing and a fantastic Tuesday wherever you are in the world and whatever you are planning to get up to today. Breaking news coming out this morning, we sort of knew it was going to come out today after the announcement last night from Romano and the news is that Big Ange, Ange Postacoglu has been officially announced as the new Tottenham Hotspur manager. Tottenham tweeted out that Ange Postacoglu has become the new manager this morning and signed on a four-year deal. Yes, a four-year deal. That's the biggest deal for a manager at Tottenham Hotspur since, you know, Maurizio Pochettino left. And now that it's officially set in stone that Ange is our new manager, now that it's officially been announced, I wanted to come on here and give you guys my thoughts and opinions on the appointment. And if you know me, you've seen my videos in the past on the channel about Ange Postacoglu, you know I'm not opposed to the appointment. You'll know I'm not opposed in any way to this appointment. I really admire the work that Ange Postacoglu has done over his career. The fantastic job he did at Celtic. And a lot of people, you know, will look at that and just go, oh, he should be winning the league title at Celtic. The Scotch, uh, Scottish League's a piece of piss. You say that, right? When Ange Postacoglu came in, Rangers were on top. Rangers were flying. Gerard had just left. You know, Rangers were well clear of Celtic. He brought Celtic back to where they should be, brought in some fantastic, exciting young players, the likes of Hatate, Kyogo, and got them playing a fantastic brand of football, you know, really good brand of football to watch. And this season they've won a treble. And I don't care what league it is, winning the treble always takes a lot of hard work. And they've went ahead and done it this season with Ange Postacoglu. So I really admire the work he's done there. I really admire the work he's done in Ajo. I don't know too much about it, but I've heard very good things. And I really admire the work he's done in Australia. And one thing you guaranteed with Ange Postacoglu, it means a lot to me, but for a lot of people, it's the reason they support Spurs, especially a lot of the older generation. You know, a lot of the older generation chose to support Spurs if they weren't local because of the fantastic football Spurs played. And Spurs haven't played that football recently. They haven't played that football recently at all. We've always said defensive football's OK if you're winning trophies, but... Recently, the team's been playing poorly. We haven't been winning games or trophies, and it's been defensive football. You're not guaranteed trophies with Ange Postacoglu. You're not guaranteed a top four finish, let alone a European finish with Ange Postacoglu. But one thing you are 100, 1 million percent guaranteed with Ange Postacoglu is attacking, exciting football. This guy despises defensive football. He's come out with interviews before and compared football to a library and said he's always gone for that attacking shelf, reading books on there. He's never even touched the defensive shelf and doesn't want to go near it. You know, that goes to show you how much this guy hates defensive football. Another example, I'm sure you guys have probably seen that clip of Ange Postacoglu. It's a conference league game. Celtic are winning it quite easily. You know, fans are quite quiet in the stands. You know, it... Not the best atmosphere, not the biggest game. Celtic play three back passes and Angie's on the pitch shouting, Stop passing it back! Stop passing it back! Going absolutely insane at them. He hates defensive football. And if you've seen his documentary, which I gave a watch the other day, which was phenomenal, you'll hear about how he talks about growing up and watching attacking, exciting football and how he wants to play the football that fans want to see. So like I say, you're not guaranteed much with Ange. One thing you are guaranteed is attacking football, and that alone will appease a lot of fans. You know, he's got a great resume, and who are we, as fans, to think we deserve better than Ange Postacoglu? Genuinely. Oh, we're Tottenham Hotspur, this, yeah. Yeah, I love Tottenham Hotspur. I do. You know, do I think we, we should be going in for the Zidans and these top managers? Yeah. But there's not a chance we get them. There is not a chance we get them. And that's why I spoke about this no to Ange, no to Postacoglu hashtag. The other day, I'm going to speak about it again. How arrogant are we to say no to a manager who's got a great resume, has a history of rebuilding teams, and we need our team rebuilded right now. We need open heart surgery. And who's got a history of, of playing exciting attack in football because we want better managers. Let me remind all the people who say no to Ange, no to Postecoglou. We finished eighth. No European football. The club needs open heart surgery. I'm sorry, but what world-class manager in the top five leagues is going to want to join Tottenham Hotspur right now. And how did that work out with the last two? The owner didn't back the last two, and the last two failed miserably. Both got sacked a year and a half into their appointment. Ange Postacoglu, for me, yes, it's a little bit underwhelming, but that's probably what we need. When we first appointed Pochettino, a lot of people were sceptical, you know, managing Southampton and then going to Spurs. And then look at the job he did. Look at the job he did. I understand why it's a little bit underwhelming for some fans, but... 
to be completely declining no to Andrew, no to Poster Collier, we're not calling out the owners, and thinking we deserve better. Really? We finished sixth. You think, you, oh, you think Enrique's going to come and join us playing no European football, do you? Do you really? Do you think all these top managers, Nagelsmann's going to be, you know, wanting to deal with the, the problems at Tottenham Hotspur? I applaud any manager who wants to come into Spurs right now, who isn't a Spurs supporter based on the shambles of our football club, and actually try and rebuild, actually try and sort the club out. And just stepped up to the plate. I admire the work he's done. I had him on my list anyway before, before you know, Nagelsmann didn't turn out and Onslaught turned out. And I, I, I think to those fans, OK, fair enough, you don't really want him. But now that he's been appointed, give him a chance. He plays exciting attacking football. You know, there's no chance we're going to get a better manager. Give the guy a chance, man. Give the guy a chance, and if he fails miserably and it's his fault and not the owners for not backing him, fair enough. But the only reason Ange fails is the same reason the last two managers fail. Because the owners are shit and the people go, oh, you know, every manager's just going to get let down. What are we meant to do? Just never appoint a manager again. And then you'd moan about that as well. You know, and then when we appoint a manager, oh, he's going to get let down by Levy. He probably will. But at least have that hope that he's not. And one thing I'm excited to see next season is attacking football. A lot of people go, oh, you prefer to see attacking football to trophies? No. No, I wouldn't. But I'm not seeing either of them in it. I'd at least like to see one. And we're guaranteed one with Ange Postacoglu. So all aboard the Ange train, let's back on you, Australian manager. Let's get behind him and let's try and go for something next season. Not boo him out of the building when he stepped up to the plate. You know, I'm sorry, I've gone a bit around there, but it pisses me off. No to Ange, no to Postacoglu. Who do we to think we don't deserve him? We finished eighth. Give the man a chance. Give the man a chance. That's all I'm saying. He's done a phenomenal job at Celtic. He's got, a, you know, great history. Speaks really well. Plays exciting attacking football. He's a trophy winner. Give him a chance, man. Give him a chance. That's my message to a lot of Spurs fans who don't want him. Fair enough, you don't want him. But now that he's man, or, or now that he's man, now that he's our man, get behind him, man. Get behind him. Get behind the team. The club needs open heart surgery. But I'm glad we've brought a manager in now. I'm glad we haven't waited and stalled for no reason. And we've brought a manager in before the summer window's properly started who can really get his philosophy across and bring in the managers he, or, or bring in the players that he wants and get rid of the players that he wants. Look, that has been my reaction to the appointment. Thank you for watching this video. I've got to head off now and take an RE GCSC. So take care of yourselves. All the best. God bless. And as always, common use spurs. In Ange we trust. That's the new message as well. But most importantly, Enoch and Lee.